love advice from a TV show? Of course. Go on. How many times she been there for her? I can't picture our lives without her. Hi, Jamie. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good, you know. So, um, you're on a TV show called Country Comfort on Netflix. Um, can you tell us a bit about it? Well, Country Comfort is about a country singer who kind of gets ditched by her band and she ends up being stranded on a ranch and the family that lives there has five kids in it and she kind of gets brought in by them and becomes their nanny and reintroduces music into their lives because uh, two years prior the family's mother passed away and after that happened they kind of stopped playing music so it's a really fun story because it's about the nanny and their her interaction with the children and kind of how important she is to them and how they grow to love each other and I think music has a really fun aspect within so yeah um the older actors that you worked with did they give you any advice I think that it was less advice and more just leading by example I think that having people like Eddie Cibrian and Catherine McPhee on set all the time was really awesome because they're both so talented and so professional on set so I kind of led by their example and sometimes followed what they did in terms of being professional and approaching a scene, which was really great because obviously they're so incredibly talented. So to have that outlet on set was really, I think helped to make me more comfortable. And yeah, it was really nice to be able to take some of the things that they did and apply it to my own acting. So Jamie, you starred as Billy Elliot in an off-Broadway production. Um, you were one of the only boys in your ballet class to transfer to Netflix. Um, can you tell us about that journey? You know, I, I think that my kind of acting journey has been really awesome and crazy. I started in kind of ballet classes when I was in second grade. And so I had seen Billy Elliot when I was around seven years old. It was one of the first musicals that I saw and I knew I really wanted to play that role when I saw it. So to get that opportunity four years later, was really amazing and I think that it set me up for a lot of the roles that I played after that because Billy is such a demanding role so having the opportunity to learn how to become resilient and professional in a rehearsal setting in a rehearsal environment was really helpful for the future projects that I did and you know after Billy Elliot I did some shows at my high school because we have an incredible program and then I was I continued auditioning and eventually I managed to get Country Comfort, which was a complete dream come true. I mean, it it was so fun and such a wonderful cast and I'd never really worked on film and TV before. So to have that opportunity, I felt so lucky and so blessed. I bet it was amazing when you found out you got the role. Oh yeah, absolutely. I was actually at a sits probe at one of my high school shows. We were doing Mamma Mia and the sits probe is when everybody sits around the piano or when the band finally comes in because you've been rehearsing with minimal instruments but the band finally comes in so you get to rehearse with the band and that day is always really fun so to kind of to get that call while we were basically in the middle of it was i mean insane so many fun moments that day so you're a triple threat which is really really cool um what performers do you look up to and admire well, when I was at School of American Ballet, I really looked up to dancers like Robert Fairchild because he managed to be a ballet dancer and then he went into Broadway and did so fantastically there. There's so many performers that I look up to, people like Jeremy Jordan and Derek Klena, who are both incredible Broadway actors. They do such good work and I mean, I'm obsessed with, I'm such a thespian at heart, so I love listening to theater music in there and so many different productions. They've got beautiful voices and then you know you kind of have the classics like Leonardo DiCaprio where you kind of those Oscar winning actors you just kind of get to you just watch them and you aspire to have the craft that they do so I don't know I think that a lot of my um a lot of my mentors come from the theater world but it's really it's a, such an inspirational thing to watch actors like Leonardo DiCaprio work because they have such an incredible way of um, producing entertainment and I aspire to it's one day be able to do what they do so. Um, so how have you been keeping busy in lockdown? 
Well, many things. A lot of watching Netflix, a lot of binge watching shows. I try to hang out with my friends as much as I can while staying safe. So that's been really nice to get to see them outside. And I have had school, so school has kept me quite busy and trying to maintain grades in this really, um, really, it feels kind of like a claustrophobic environment because we were doing school from home for so long. We finally, the school opened up, so we're back in classes full time now, which is really amazing. But I also had a, a virtual cabaret benefit for my dad's friend Obi and Defo, who lost both his legs. So we got to raise some money for him, and that was really great to be able to do it, do a cabaret like that, and produce some entertainment in a time when theater is so minimal was really fulfilling and really exciting and yeah i think it was nice to spend time with my family and my friends and really cherish those moments i think that there are a lot of silver linings that came out of it yeah because even though it was such a negative and horrific event it did have quite a few positives definitely for me but mm -hmm. absolutely i mean i think it makes you change your perspective on a lot of things and it forces you to kind of reflect and not to take advantage of the relationships and the the opportunities that you had before i think that once we get back it'll feel really special and there again I've, there there have been some things that i got to do because of the pandemic that i never would have done like my family got to do like a cross-country road trip together because we didn't want to be stuck at home so that again yeah so many silver linings i think that came out of it obviously we want to get out of this pandemic as quickly as possible and we want to stay as safe as possible but I think that it's important to look at the positives that have come out of it rather than reflecting on the negative and what we've missed out on. Definitely. Um, well, thank you for the interview, Jamie. Yeah, thank you for having me. It was awesome talking to you. Bye.